Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Albino Rhino is holding the beer this time, I and mean, I don't usually do that, but I was trying to find where the name and everything was on this. Because these are, these guys here, the, um, the collaboration brews that Wellington made for Christmas, for the Christmas uh, gift packs. So this one is with Nickelbrook. It's called Come and Float. Come and Float. It is a dry hopped sour with blueberry and pear at... Four is that four or four point eight? I think it's just four percent alcohol by volume. This is the problem with being blind, right? Um, our buds from the Funk Lab at Nickelbrook have the art of brewing sours down to a science, so it only seemed natural to create a delicious dry hop sour with them. This brightly and lively beer, this bright and lively beer, has clean lactic sour notes with hints of strawberry and cherry from the unique Barte Rouge hops. Um, we finish this tasty sour with a load of wild blueberries and pear juice to make this an irresistible tangy treat. Contains barley. Um, so, yeah, Nickelbrook is known for their Funk Lab, but I do think that Nickelbrook should also be known for a lot of their other stuff. Uh, fuck, their, their stouts are to die for and a lot of their porters are too and before they were i haven't poured this yet uh before they were really known for their funk lab they were doing uh the unique which was their like uh their belgian sour which was a raspberry beer and oh my god was it good and they stopped making it and that pisses me off the raspberry uber very much akin to it but it's it's not the same oh my god look at that we want to get some head here. And we're not getting any head. Look at that! Visually, that's the best looking beer I've seen in quite some time. Oh my lord, look at that. That is hazy crazy. It's a beautiful red. Nice snap crackle pop. Looks great. It looks amazing. It, it looks like juice. Scent out of the can. <laughs> you get like almost like a wet fart smell. A wet fart smell with some pear and some. And like. I, I'm saying blueberry, but it's not really blueberry. It's not like. It's like just. If any of you made blueberry jam or anything, and after you've mashed it all up and you get all the. The tannic juices everywhere you get the you get the skin everywhere and you just get that kind of like dry but blueberry scent it, it's like that it's wet farts with pear and, and dry blueberry out of the glass all you really get out of the glass is the pear it's it's really really nice cheers let's try it i'm excited oh oh that's nice that's really, really nice. Okay, so telltale funk lab taste, though. I mean, you get that, you get that woody backbone. You get that like oak, oak tongue depressor on the tongue type of backbone. Uh, very tannic. You get a lot of, you get a lot of fruit skin more so than sweetness. Uh, it is. It isn't tart per se. It is sour. It is a pucker, not a not a sweet like uh, sweet and sour type of thing. It is a pucker. Uh, it does have some blueberry flavor to it. The blueberry flavor is like over ripened. When, when you get the blueberries and they're so over ripe, they're all squishy and all that, starting to rot in the in the in the pint. It smells really good in here. My wife's making quesadillas, and it, it's, I can smell the beef cooking in here. Then, for those of you that drink a lot of ciders or anything, there is a very perry esque undertone. I mean, the perry is a very sweet thing. You're not getting the sweetness on this per se because the sourness is overtaking it, but you get that perry taste all the way to the back. It's still there right now. It's hidden behind the tannic, the wood, and the sour, but it's there. 
Can you tell blueberries are in here? Yeah. Do I taste the cherries they're talking about? No. What was the other fruit they said? Because I don't taste that either. Um, strawberry and cherry. No, no, I don't. I don't get strawberry or cherry. I mean, that's not saying it's not there. I'm just saying I don't. I don't get it, which is it's fine. A heftier body than I expected on this too. Um, it's not. It's not heavy bodied, it is still just a medium bodied beer, but it's heftier than I expected it to be. I would attend on that. That's easily a seven. I would go back for that. Um however Wellington makes some good beers. Nickelbrook makes some good beers. They both make some excellent beers as well. I expected a little bit more from a collab between the two of them, but it isn't a bad beer for the two of them making it yeah i would go to it again i would give it a seven out of ten just normally i would give both those breweries higher than that so it's kind of sad but it's acceptable it's 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 sad to me because i do especially when you see like blueberry pear sour you're like whoa but yeah it, it's a good beer thank you guys for watching have a wonderful evening au revoir i'll be see you soon bye bye Mwah.